Hi my friends, um, it's me, Velvet. I'm sorry I haven't video, videoed in a long time with Christmas and everything going on in the new job. I've just been crazy stupid busy. I've been making a lot of cards, I just haven't bothered to videotape because I've been doing kind of cards en masse um, using the one sheet wonder and the um, chop it up videos. So that's not really much to see. But today I come to you with an AliExpress haul. I've been doing a lot with some plaster lately and I can show you a couple of pieces that I've done, I guess. Um, I'm using them for mixed media canvases. So I have done things like this. They break so easily. I have to be careful. But now the nice thing is that I'm not doing canvases that are huge. So I will end up breaking the, these anyway to fit, um, you know, just little pieces. So I've got, I've got one going right now. I'm what I'm doing is, I think these are about five by seven inch um, flat canvases that I'm doing. And I'm using black gesso. I'm painting them with black gesso. And then I'm painting all of the components with black gesso. And then I'm using um, the waxes, um, like the Prima, uh, the Finabare waxes and stuff to give um, some color to things. So I've got one started right now. I just gessoed everything this morning. Um, so, and then I came home from lunch with my hubby and my mother-in-law, and I had a nice big package from AliExpress. So, I wanted to show you. So, in the first package was, um, I got a lot of, um, molds. So, that's going to be a frame. A very thin one, but that's okay. I think it'll work. Now this, it doesn't have a side, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is filling all of the inside here. Um, but I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully, hopefully that's not... Um, actually, let's open these. Um, hopefully that is not too much of a glare, but... I should have opened these before. I'm planning on doing some of these later today. I had today off from work, so so there you get a better idea. And I will try to link the store in the description so you can see, because these were a pretty good price. Um, you know, they took a little bit of a chunk of time to get here, and that, you know, that's to be expected. AliExpress is always a little slower, but with Christmas and, um, you know, shipping delays in general, it is what it is. This looks so cool. Can you see that? It's pretty deep, too. Some of these little pockets are deep. I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to be making a lot of plaster um, this afternoon, I think. So this is this is the little frame that is actually not very deep. It's interesting because these molds. The molds themselves are quite thick and sturdy, which is really nice. Um, so, you get the idea. Anyway, these ones are nice, too. To be honest, I don't know the difference between the pink and the beigey color. They feel exactly the same. They are all from the same company. This is kind of like a hashtag, but bigger. <laughs> it's just kind of a cool, cool design that I thought would look good on a canvas. Um, this one is awesome, I must say. Zippers. How cool is that? Pretty neat, huh? And pretty thin, so I'm going to have to be very careful taking these out of the mold. Um, a lot of times when I do the plaster, well, it says that they're set in a half hour, but then to let them sit for 24 hours after that. So, I mean, technically that to me means you can actually take them cautiously out of the mold and then, you know, set them on a counter or whatever. But I have discovered that I like to leave them for an hour. This one's cool. The brick. 
So again on this one, well see it does have a small side to it, but I'll probably just fill it to about here. But that'll be a nice piece, I think. So that's kind of cool. And then this one is buttons. Which I'm really excited about. Because of course you can use real buttons on the mixed media stuff. Especially if you're gessoing and using the waxes, but how cool is this for buttons? So that's nice. And this one I think is awesome too. I, I like them all. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't like them, right? So that's cool. And they obviously can be broken apart. It's just kind of a grungy whatever. <laughs> this one's neat. Again, it's um, not very thick. So it's like a compass. And then it's even got this, if you want to put it on here as the compass. I'm, I'm going to fill every, I'm planning to fill every single one of these later. Now this one is what I think is the piece de resistance. And it's very thick. These will stick out quite nicely on the mixed media, but look, it's pipes, pipes and gears. Isn't that cool? I think it is. <laughs> very, very excited that these finally came. I was hoping they had come Friday, but it wouldn't have mattered because uh, my husband and I did Christmas for each other on Friday morning, and then um, we were waiting for his COVID test because his family is in Canada, and we can't cross the border without a negative COVID test in 72 hours, within 72 hours of the crossing. So... We were waiting and waiting and finally got it Saturday, Friday morning. So we quickly did our gifts for each other and then loaded up the car and went up to Canada. So anything that would have come Friday anyway, it, it didn't matter because we were on our way up to Canada. This looks like some fabrics that I had bought, bought from Ellie. Gosh, that is lovely, isn't it? Take it out of here so we can get a better peek. Sorry for the noise. I know that can be frustrating. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, what is it called? SMR. That plasticky noise. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So, that's got an interesting aroma. Um, I got a new sewing machine for Christmas. A very nice brother sewing machine. Probably more than I need, but Oh, look at these. That'll look, all of these little fibers will look great on a junk journal page, probably. Or even on the back, on a card. This is just stunning. Look at that. Stunning. I'm going to put that over here. Got some more fishing line because I think in a previous video I might have mentioned that um, I had read somewhere that fishing line works really, really well for binding journals for, and for sewing up the signatures. So I thought, gosh, it's so inexpensive that why not, right? Um, so I had ordered this off of Amazon, but it came from China. So I'm going to try using this. I've got black and brown now, so I'm very happy about that. Now i got to get going on my junk journals. But I have made so many regular cards lately because I've just been cleaned out from the craft show and Etsy. So I've been making regular cards and now I can't wait to get into some more journal stuff. So here's another mold. This is a very stiff one. And it's deep and intricate. So that should be fun. That's a good, good, good idea. So it's kind of a frame type thing. Fun stuff, fun stuff. I don't know what else I've got coming from AliExpress. I went on a little tiny binge um, around Christmas time, I guess. Or, well, I guess it was around Thanksgiving. 
Okay, so this is a Christmas thing I got. Um, so for when I make some cards next year, I just wanted something different from what I've been using for all of these cards that I've made lately. And here is the last AliExpress. So yeah, so I got a sewing machine for Christmas and I started practicing on it last night. I'm so happy with it. Um, it's going to take some getting used to. I'm still learning, but I'm pleased. Oh, we got a little free little gift. What is it? Creamery. Huh. Interesting. So, there's some little leafy type things. Um, what, what might this say? <laughs> I do not know what this says. Let's see. And then, <clears throat> more Christmas sentiments for next year. Hope you can see those. Let me get the idea. And I'm curious what this says because I don't remember. I really gotta clean up my desk again. You can probably see it's just I pull you up a little bit and you can get a good idea of how much of a disaster my craft desk is. There we go. Sorry for the glare. Well, let's see. <laughs> um, oh, you are amazing. I can read it better like that. That's a nice one. And I love that it's all the words are attached. So there is no trying to, you know, glue on each individual letter. Let's see what this bad boy says. Oh, we said it, it's creamery, but I do not know what the image is. So let's see. Oh, it looks like ice cream sandwiches. Or not ice cream sandwiches, you know, the ice cream bars, I guess. That's cute. Very cute. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I will, however, show you some of the stuff that I've been working on. It's insane how many <laughs> cards I've made out of, um, you know, one sheet wonder stuff. So I've made a bunch of these. I just put these, so I've been doing them kind of in stages. I cut the papers while I was upstairs watching TV with my husband and then I glued them on another time, sometime last week. And then today I did all of the out, outside sentiments and gluing those on and doing some little, some little doodads here. So you get an idea. Unfortunately, I am woefully low on my sympathy cards. And that's upsetting because I just, I hate when friends and family lose loved ones, but it is what it is, right? So I had to make some sympathy cards. Unfortunately. But you, I mean, obviously you're seeing the trend here that... Um, so you're just cutting a background sheet and then what's left of that, you flip over. Because these are two-sided, you flip over for that and then you do a sentiment however you want to do it. That one is off of a different one sheet wonder or something, um, which I printed and, um, I'm still not able to follow the directions very well, <laughs> but anyway, there's that one and that one's full or that one's complete. And then I've got a few over here that I've started. I've got <laughs> several more that I need to do sentiments for. And then um, I cut, this is interesting what I've done here. I took a day and I cut a whole bunch of papers just to get rid of a whole bunch of stash of mine. And then I promptly forgot where I found the measurements and what to do with these papers, <laughs> which I find very funny. So obviously these are something. They're probably this. I don't know. I just don't know. And, you know, what are these, Velvet? And furthermore, what is all this? They're all cut to a specific size. 
My guess is these are all for mini slim lines, which is fine, but I'm not going to do a mini slim line with just, with just that, right? So I guess what you were, what I was planning to do with this is make that into a mini slim line and then choose another something or other for decoration. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a week and a half or so, and apparently that's the limit to my brain potential. So... <laughs> We'll figure it out. I will figure it out. And then we've got more. We've got some stuff here. Not sure what the plan was for these. We'll figure it out. And even more over here. Some stuff going on. It'll all get done. <laughs> At any rate, thank you so much for tuning in, for watching my un unboxing and what I've got on my desk. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hitting like, hitting the subscribe button, um, commenting, all that jazz. It really does mean a lot to me. And I hope everyone has had a wonderful holiday season and will have a happy new year. Bye, everybody.